like all other fishermen, I enjoy getting my hands on new products, new lures, etc. And this week I've got three new lures that I'm keen to test out. Right, folks, now I've got three new surface lures here in front of me that I'm going to try. This isn't a comprehensive review of any of those lures. This isn't a lure review. This is just simply me putting these new lures on to see how they perform on the water because I've never used them before. The first one I'm going to be using is this uh, Domeki Air Frog. This came to me in a um, in the tack from tackleclub.com.au in the tackle club box the other day. It's a soft plastic frog. I've got it rigged up on one of the hooks that also came in the same parcel. I've got it rigged weedless. It's an air frog. It's got two air pockets down either side to keep it buoyant and it's also got a bit of weight in the middle to make it castable. So I've got the Domeki the Domeki air frog, the four inch air frog. I'm really looking forward to giving that a try. I've got this. This is a Depths Buzzjet, but it's a Depths Buzzjet Junior. It's only similar size to the four inch air frog, a little bit smaller. It's um yeah, it's only a small surface lure. Be good, it'll be great in these really small waterways where there's a lot more small fish. I'm looking forward to giving that a, a crack. Oh yeah, uh, that also came in my parcel from tackleclub.com.au. And I've got this. This is a chase bait frill seeker. This is a like a swim bait in the shape of a lizard. You can see it's got like a, it's upside down. It's back to front. <laughs> How about there? You can see there it's got a little bit of a bib at the front there just to keep it under the surface. It's a little frilled neck lizard pattern. It's got a spare tail. I actually bought this one myself. I was in at Trally's Tackle World in Shepparton during the week uh, looking at rods and reels and I picked this up while I was there. I think it was like can't remember whether it was 15 bucks or 20 bucks. Either way, it wasn't really expensive. So I've got the, the Chase Bait Frill Seeker, the Depths Buzzjet Junior, and the Domeki 4 inch Air Frog. Let's go and see how they swim. Rightio, folks. First cab off the rank is the Domeki Air Crawl. He's looking a little bit battle scarred at the moment. I had to uh, rig him two or three times before I worked out exactly how he should be rigged. I'm confident he's rigged the right way now. Once I start using this and get the hang of it, I'll make a video on how to rig these guys up. Now, I'm going to sit this camera that I've got in my hand now on the ground. I'm going to cast the lure out and retrieve it towards the camera. The Domeki 4 inch air frog. I was, in, I was very impressed with a few things. The upside to this, they're cheap, they're, um, they cast quite well, you can reel them in at a fast speed, like breakneck speed across the surface and you can reel them in nice and slowly. You can pause them and they float and they actually lay, lay down at the back a little bit when they float so that when you start retrieving them they don't try and dive down which is a problem with a lot of surface lures. So Domeki 4 inch air, air frog, I really loved it. The only thing I'm not real sort of sold on is the way the hook is placed above the soft plastic. Um, I've used soft plastic frogs in the past with the hooks at the top. Sometimes that can hinder your hookup rate a little bit but given the price and the uh, the versatility of this lure I think this is a winner and I'm really looking forward to using it. That's the Domeki 4 inch air frog. The Depths Buzzjet Junior. This, in, this impressed me a bit in the sense that it swam well. I was a bit worried it might not swim as well. I've got a lot of experience using the full size Depths Buzzjet and they're not the greatest swimming lures on the market. So I thought being a bit smaller it might not swim all that great but it actually swam very very well. That is a small lure. It definitely 100% will catch Murray Cod. I'm convinced of that. It's only got very small hooks though so I don't know how the hooks will go. They may need upgrading. I'll only know that with time once I've been fishing with it for a little bit. Some people might think that's too small for Murray Cod but 
but in a small waterway like this where small cod are prolific, just getting a score on the board might be all you're after. That will be ideal in a waterway like this. I'm looking forward to giving it a crack. I was very impressed with it. It swam about the same as the full size buzz jet. The buzz jets aren't the best swimming lures. You've got to have your rod at the right angle. If you have it too high, they bounce a bit. If you have it too low, they can try and dive a little bit. Normally when I cast it out, I'll hold my rod tip up high, reel it in. As I'm reeling it in, I'll lower the rod tip down and the lure swims fine across the surface. And I almost caught my finger just then. So it's just a carbon copy of the big buzz jet. The thing about the buzz jets is that the fish love them. Doesn't matter what they look like or how they swim, the fish love them. And I've caught so many fish on them and I can see the little one that's down there on the ground now after almost hooking my finger will, um, will perform every bit as well as the big one, especially in these smaller waterways. Now to the last one, the chase bait frill seeker, a little frill neck lizard sort of thing. I'll see if I can get him up a bit closer for a closer look for you. If I touch there, you can see that he's got a headpiece, a body, a, so it's a three piece, uh, four if you include the tail. He swims across the water, he's very articulated. I was actually very, very impressed with this lure. I think this one probably impressed me the most out of the three. It swam very, very well. The positives to it is it looks unreal on the water and I believe that the fish will climb all over it. The hooks are not overly big but I'm sure that for a lot of these modest sized fish in these smaller waterways they will be adequate for the job but they may need upgrading. We'll know that with time once I've used it a bit. I was very very impressed with this, the chase, chase bait frill seeker. I'm really looking forward to giving these a crack. Now I've fished with Dinger from Murray Crab Fishing a couple of times and he's used a, a, a wake bait called a Jackal Mikey and it's actually quite a similar size and shape to that and he's caught plenty of cod on that so I reckon I can catch plenty of cod on this. That's a cool looking bit of gear and it's not, all, not overly expensive either. I, uh, I'm excited. <laughs> Righty, folks, I hope you found this video useful. Remember, I haven't actually used any of these lures. This is just a product test. I'm hoping to use them very, very soon. It's April and the Murray Cod fishing is slowing down. So if I don't catch a fish on them now, it's not really a true indication. If you don't catch a fish on them in December or January, that's much more of an indication that they're no good. But anyway, I'm looking forward to giving them a crack. First impressions are very, very good. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, why not consider doing so? And I'll see you in the next video.